suppose I'm a transporter. I want it both to transport stuff across the ocean. You want to load as much as possible on your boat. So if you think I can just make a little bit more money if I just take a little bit extra load, it's not stable anymore. You have lost resilience. So resilience has a cost. And the reason we go for systems with low resilience is to be more efficient. It's a classical tipping point example. Fundamentally, we understand it very easily with the boat. It is more difficult to see a tipping point coming in a financial market, in an animal, in society, in the climate, in an ecosystem. The most exciting work I think we're doing now is the finding early warning signals for such situations. We found them in mathematical theory. As a scientist, um, I find it very exciting that there are generic, universal things across many complex systems. The brain, the lake, the forest, they're so different. It's, uh, for a scientist, it's fantastic to see that there are universal principles across those systems.